at um, Phil de Guara's place in the, the central region. Um, Phil had a trial this season, in two, the 2018 season, on his um, optimised case harvester and um, we've just presented the results to Phil and some growers and um, we're talking about the next steps forwards in terms of the project. Yeah, no, it's a well, family farm's dad and me two brothers, um, farm about 300 hectares, we grow soybeans as well as um, yeah, cane as well as soybeans in our fallow. We're on 1.9 centres, uh, control traffic. Uh, most of the equipment's on GPS now. Uh, we cut our, we just cut our own cane at this stage. Well, no, we've only been harvesting for two oh, two right. years, so it, it was all we tried to. We haven't really got any um, or baggage or anything from you know cutting for for 10 or 15 or 20 years. We, we've sort of come into it new. Um, so yeah, we just sort of looked at the or well, got the best uh, the best management manual and um, sort of went through that and got a bit of an idea what we what what to sort of aim for and that's how we've sort of gone from there. Yeah, yeah, no, well, we've ne I've never, I've driven harvesters before but never, um, we've, well, never day in, day out, so it was all, it was all new the first year. Um, so I guess we wanted to do it the first year, just see the setup that we were running, was running a machine that we hadn't had much to do with before. Um, yeah, so it was just good to get an idea what, what losses and the, the practice that we were using how they um, how they compared to to the best practice and and to I suppose to the to the area as well. Uh, well, we just had the standard drums drums in it when we bought it. Um, so yeah, last this year we decided we wanted to use it for cutting plants as well. Um, so we decided to go to to, to 95 mil blades and yeah, we just went with the EHS choppers, a local company here. So yeah, it was a choice we made. Um, and we also optimised the roller train as well. Um, just talking to Phil and a few other people that had done it, and they were pretty happy with it. And I think it's helped with our billet quality for our plants as well. That's, that's the, that also prompted a lot of these changes because we just wanted to run one machine. We're only, yeah, like I said, we're cutting about 25, uh, 22 to 25,000 tonne a year, so it's no use having two harvesters. Um, yeah, it was easy, just, we just wanted to have one in the end. Yeah. With the, happy with the setup of the harvester, and um, we just got to get a probably a bit better idea on estimating estimating blocks beforehand. Um, I think that's something we've got to we've got to get a bit bit better handle on the, the cane in front of us to sort of set the machine up in each block. But on average, I think we've got it pretty right now. Well, that's that's the that's the first thing we need is the is the um, is the is the crop estimate of what's in the paddock, what's going to be going up the machine, so we can actually make. Uh, the decisions on the harvesting speed and the fan speed, and if you, yeah, if we don't know what that is, or we just got to get a better idea on that from block to block. It's hard to tell just from the outside, and yeah, it's once you get in there, you sort of know it's know what it is. Oh, the whole idea of how, well, the growing the cane is to, to get as much sugar out of it in the end. That's what we get paid on. So the the less we leave in the paddocks, better, the well, it's best for everyone. So it's just, but you just got to try and. You got to weigh that up with economics and and time and and there's a lot of other factors that come into it. But just doing these trials, are sort of, we're getting a better idea on on the whole aspect of harvesting cane through the losses, the economics, um, yeah, the modifications we've done. We've sort of get a better better handle on it.